Number 15, Poltergeist. Do you believe in poltergeists? What if you're confronted with video proof? YouTuber Ethan N. Thurrock posted poltergeist activity happening in his office across three videos. In the first video, the office door closes on its own. Some paper towel moves, along with a computer cable followed by a tape dispenser on the desk. Then the computer monitor starts to blink on and off. The timestamp reads 6 9 2015. In the second video in the same room, a toy car moves across the desk to the very edge. The timestamp reads 6 10 2015. It's hard to tell if the last video is in the same room, as it's from a different camera and perspective, but it's filming while someone is in the office. As she's working on her computer, her coffee mug suddenly moves abruptly, spilling some coffee on her desk right next to her electronics. She jumps up to move everything out of the way. If you weren't a believer before, you'd be hard to explain this series of events. Number 14, Into the Flames. Well, light can certainly play tricks on us, and on a camera, things can get creepy. Posted to the Ghost subreddit, Garno7 explains that he and some friends were hanging around their campfire near a lake, and one of them captured this on his phone. The clip shows a figure appearing to run from their group of people into the roaring flames, watches the camera pans from left to right. Can you see it? While many in the comments say the figure is nothing but a lens flare, a couple redditors counter that argument. Redditor Patrick RS Ghost writes, At first I thought it was some flare or something due to the transition from dark to light very quickly, but when I looked closer I could see something start to move within the crowd at around the 2 second mark, almost to the left of the little girl in the pink sweater, right as the camera starts to pan, and upon looking again, I can totally see what this redditor is talking about, so now I think there's a good chance this could be paranormal, because when you take the time, it seems to sync up. Number 13, Snakes on a Train. Even though this snake wasn't on a plane, Samuel L. Jackson would probably not appreciate its presence on this train platform. Tweeted by Triple GRTO, he writes, Being a train operator for NYCT Subway, I thought I have seen it all, but this can't be real. Oh, it's real, all right. This feet-long snake, which has been identified as a non-venomous black eastern rat snake, was spotted on a subway platform in New York City on August 10th, 2020. The species can grow up to 7 feet and is native to the East Coast region, from Connecticut down to South Carolina and west to Kansas. It feeds on rodents, which may be why it's lurking in a New York subway station. As the enormous snake weaves slowly across the platform, a commuter stands not far off, waiting for her train's arrival. The MTA addressed the situation in a tweet writing, this is a new one for us. They were investigating the matter and aren't aware how it got there, although the reptile doesn't appear to have an owner, so may have just been out for a midday stroll or slither. Still, I'm sure many New Yorkers wouldn't want to share the L train with this scaly passenger. Number 12. Leave. If a disembodied voice tells you to leave, you should probably listen. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Mads Entertain, the redditor was given a warning that might be worth heeding. As he and a friend enter an abandoned house, about one minute into the clip, a creepy old lady voice orders them to leave. They don't leave. Instead, they search the barren house up to the second floor. After exploring, the redditor is doing his outro when something bangs overhead. If you're new to our channel, again, don't forget to smash that uh, like button, subscribe uh, for new content every Sunday. It sounds like it's coming from upstairs. They hurry out of the house, and the Redditor explains that they had to cut, because after hearing that bang, they heard scraping against the walls and the sound of a door opening. Well, the voice had warned them. What did they expect? Number 11. All Pretty I Am. Crazy EVPs and spiritual mists run amok in the haunted Skinner's Tavern. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Paranormal Purgatory writes, We captured what looks like a spirit trying to manifest in the doorway. 
They also captured some insane dialogues with the beyond as they attempted to communicate with the spirits inside this haunted place. See for a little bit. See for a little bit. See if we can hear anything. After an EVP translates a spirit whispering, All pretty I am. A partial manifestation is caught in this doorway. Right in the middle of the entry, you can see a trace of a ghostly mist as the camera pans round. The Redditor doesn't appear to notice it in the moment, as he calmly asks the house at large if he can get a drink. Don't blame him, he's probably gonna need a drink again when he plays this back. Number 10. Lightning Ball Ball lightning are luminescent phenomenons usually linked to thunderstorms. The rare anomalies have been recorded throughout history in various sizes, from the size of a pea to several feet wide. The following clip appears to capture this phenomenon. Published to YouTube by Roman Tregubov in August of 2016, the so-called lightning fireball was captured in Russia at the edge of a field. Stormy weather darkens the sky as the fireball moves slowly across the horizon. Surrounded by blue lights, the ball flares up randomly and disappears behind some tall trees but is still visible beyond. Although some are sure this is ball lightning, YouTuber Jason W suggests an alternative theory in the comments, to which others agree. He writes, That's an arc of electricity going across two different phases on a power line. Not that weird, but pretty cool to witness as long as you're far away. The Redditor claims that there are no power lines in this area to validate this explanation, but again it's hard to tell from this distance. What do you think? Do you agree with Roman or Jason? Either way, this brilliant ball of light would be a crazy sight to encounter. Number 9. Splunking Scream In the depths below, no one can hear you scream. But that's not the case when Redditor JTS4 went splunking in these Georgia caves. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit, the Redditor writes that their GoPro recorded screaming in the darkness that they never heard in person. Moreover, he says that the caves were very quiet, so quiet you can hear a pin drop. As other Redditors note, the distant scream heard literally sounds like one from a horror movie. It's clear in the clip that the Redditor didn't hear it, as he continues to navigate through the cave, talking nonchalantly to his audience. While most agree that this is super freaky, others suggest it might not be paranormal at all. Redditor Brule's Rules for Your Health Rights reminds me of a feral hog sound. They used to go in caves near my grandma's house and get trapped inside. Other suggestions include a mountain lion or a fox, while some think it could be a woman. The Redditor says the cave is popular, so who knows, but it still doesn't explain why they didn't hear it in person at the time. He also says they were very deep in the cave along an 8 mile stretch that hasn't been fully explored. Could this be the reason why? Number 8. Poltergeist in the Park Come Out and Play Posted in January of 2014 this poltergeist knows how to have fun. A group of friends are hanging out along a city river at night. As the cameraman scans the area, one of the girls spots it first, a swing swaying back and forth rather forcefully on its own. The night is still, the wind barely moving the leaves in the trees, and yet this swing is moving with energy. As Lex Cotton writes in the comments, the thing is moving too fast to be pulled by strings or the wind. Who then is moving it? And do you want to play? I sure wouldn't because it looks like this is the work of a nefarious ghost. Number 7. Basement Monster Basements are built to house all the evils of the world. This basement is no exception. Published by YouTuber Mr. Vujade in February of 2012, 
This frightening basement monster will scare the living daylights out of you. The short clip sees our protagonist heading downstairs into a creepy dark basement. As he slowly searches the space, it appears empty. Apart from a few piles of storage items, some bicycles, the usual suspects in a basement. But then suddenly he turns, which is when he is confronted by this. I'm never going down there again, the YouTuber writes. Who can blame him? I don't think I could ever work up the courage to explore that basement. Number 6. Witch's Ritual This video posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Exploring with Eric is another random Randonautica adventure. Only this adventure took its victims somewhere that no one would choose to end up, the abandoned site of a witch's ritual. Eric writes, Myself and Veronica unexpectedly found a ritual site and it was beyond disturbing. Directed by the app into the middle of nowhere at night, the pair wander through the wilderness to the random destination set out for them and arrive at an old rocky structure that looks like it's been around for a good while. The abandoned site is littered with recognizable graffiti alongside symbols that aren't so recognizable. Although the place appears to have been frequented by others, these others may not have all been innocent random radonauticers or taggers, but rather more nefarious individuals. After exploring an enormous empty tank outside, they head inside the stone structure. This is where things get freaky. Inside is a bizarre and creepy sight. Encircled by a red ring with votive candles surrounding it, they discover a piece of paper scrunched up on the floor. As they attempt to unfurl it to see what's written, they keep hearing things. Veronica says it sounds like someone laughing. They decide to leave, but they take the paper with them. Once in the car, they open it and find the message is written in Spanish. According to YouTuber Luisa Gutierrez, it reads in English, It's a trap. My spirit Marlene here. Please say my name three times. There also appears to be a date at the end. What does it all mean? Eric and Veronica may have just cursed themselves. Number 5. Shadow When unexplained shadows fall, your only recourse is to search for an answer. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Sammy Sam 1870 writes, It was 2.06 a.m. and there was no one walking around, nor were there any cars in sight when this mysterious shadow strolled across my security camera. The following day, I tried to figure out where it could have came from, but found no explanation. The security camera footage shows a black shadow cast upon the ground, moving across the screen. As the Redditor explains, nothing visible in the area is casting the shadow. So do we have a shadow figure on our hands, or is this just a bug caught at a weird angle? Number 4. Night Terrors What's more terrifying than your child staring at something invisible in the middle of the night when you hear someone talking to her? Posted to the Ghost subreddit, El Soto 14 explains, Everyone was asleep in the house, but something told me to check my daughter's monitor. She was sleeping, then sat up and stared at the door. The Redditor is wondering what the strange noise might be at the 10 second mark of the recording. There seems to be a consensus in the comments that the voice says the word listen. Others say it just sounds like a frog croaking to them. The Redditor notes that her daughter doesn't remember anything from the incident. Whatever the voice is saying, if it really is a voice, the girl sitting up, seemingly aware of the presence, in and of itself is terrifying. Number 3. Possessed Red Box Um, what exactly is going on here? This has taken the Spanish-speaking YouTube community by storm. The image was reportedly captured in Corbin, Kentucky, while renting movies from a red box at a grocery store. This still shows a woman who appears to be possessed, as her head is rolled back in an unrealistic fashion, looking backwards at the ceiling. Her face appears distorted and ghoulish, but there's no further explanation as to what's going on here. The bizarre still frame has many redditors exchanging jokes on the creepy subreddit with no hyphenation asking. I wonder if she is renting the exorcist? We hope so. It looks like she could use one. Number 2. NASA's Curiosity Rover 
This clip calls into question whether or not there's life on Mars. According to Redditor GamersGen, this video was captured by NASA's Curiosity rover over Mars. On the 23rd of August 2012, GamersGen linked an AI enhanced version in 4K to the post. The video is actually a series of photographs, so the rate at which it appears to fly is inaccurate. Regardless, the photo series shows an unknown flying device moving over the horizon of the planet's Barrett landscape. It flies to a point where it hovers overhead for a moment before moving off and out of sight. Well, of course, many call fake in the comments. Others claim it could be part of something larger. However, our Redditor throws down some math, noting that the rover supposedly takes a photo every five minutes. If this is the case, it's pretty unusual that nothing changed on the planet's surface, nor did the light or rover shift in that amount of time. Logical, but then again, X-Files advises us to trust no one. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because we upload a new scary video every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Plant Man if you hear something outside, don't go investigate. You might not like what you find. Published to YouTube in July of 2006, TCAN456 writes, Just watch, but not before you go to bed. Take his advice. In this home video, our friend, who is clearly scared judging by his breathing patterns, looks around his house after hearing something and then heads outside to investigate. He passes a large potted plant as he turns a corner. Nothing appears to be there, but when he turns back, a figure flees from behind the plant and races into the darkness. The cameraman runs after it but quickly loses the creature. He searches along some thick hedges in his backyard and soon faces the plant man again. Instead of searching him out further, he races inside, locking the door behind him, runs to his room, locking that door too and gets in bed. All the while, there is banging. <laughs> Although it's not clear where the sound is coming from, the rest of the video is nothing but a black screen, one upon which you keep expecting a jump scare to surface. Don't worry, the fear is over, but my questions about this video remain unanswered. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!